Hi there, Philip from MindCode here. In this video, I would like to give you update on the development progress from the Solid.js and Firebase course I'm currently working on. The course is already released, but I'm still adding more lectures and I want to show you what, uh, what features are already added into the course. So I should start with the, the first screen. I will log out here. I'll refresh, so you will see when I will go to the base homepage and when I'm not logged in, I will be always redirected to the authentication page to log in or to create a new account. In uh, these forms, we, we are handling the form validations. We, create, we created everything from, uh, from the scratch. In the course, we are not using many third-party libraries, so the authentications is uh, resolved through the Firebase, of course, but the uh, validations we have resolved by ourselves. So when I click here, register, I will look at here this validation and I need to provide the correct data and so on. And like this, and uh, I need to fill up everything and register, this is working already, but I will skip to the login page, so I will show you uh, how it looks on the login and when I will log into the, to, to our application, to this application. So I have here, uh, for example, Philip user, philip at uh, gmail.com, password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I will log in. As soon as I log in, I will see here this pop-up, welcome to Glider. This is called Snackbar, Snackbar message, and also this feature will we will uh, work on in this course from the scratch. We will not use third-party library, but we'll learn how to create these uh, snack bars. Now I'm logged in as the Philip user. You can see down here, logged in as a Philip 99. You can log out. And here are already some messages from Johnny users. Uh, I created a couple of them. <laughs> not very meaningful messages, but you, you see that we are already loading them and I'm going initially to the page. There is a nice loader displayed. At the first loader you see this, uh, and this uh, loader is because we are loading, resolving authentication state and when authentication state is resolved, um, this other loader is to resolve the actual data. Data are displayed here and we are displaying only 10, uh, 10 messages. Uh, I'm calling it uh, 10 glides because application is called glider. 10 glides and when I will scroll pass by some point, I will start loading more, another 10 glides. And when I will reach the end of this and I will load all the glides, there are no more glides loaded and I reach the end. So you can see we are lazy loading more glides as we are scrolling down. So that's uh, already finished. Also feature to create a new glide so I can uh, create your message. Let's say, uh, hi there, uh, Johnny, I can glide it and it will be added here. Hi there, Johnny. As the first message in a refresh, of course, the, the message will be here. Hi there, Johnny. So that's from a Glide feature. And um, now, now in the course, I'm currently working on the profile feature where we can start getting followers and we can follow the other people. And when we will follow the other people, then we will see the Glides only from these uh, people, persons we, are, uh, we will follow. So that's the next plan in the course. Then what I'm planning next to do is uh, to create the detail page of the glides. So when you will click on the glide, you can go to the sub glide page and you can post the messages in the sub glide page. Uh, then there will be that you can uh, comment on the sub glides uh, feature and then there will be additional feature to add, attach some uh, media with, uh, with your glide. So you can attach the image or something as you will post the, the new glide. And uh, other small features will be covered uh, as well. And I will show you also logout feature logout. When you click logout, you will be logged out from the page. Okay, all, all of this we are keeping in the Firebase, uh, in the Firestore database, in the collection of the glides and the users. Later, we'll uh, create here also other collections for the sub glides and also for authentication. We are using the, the Firebase code device. We, have, you, we are using TypeScript. We are keeping everything nicely in the components of the, in the components, the a view part, the UI, the components, and in the hooks we are keeping the feature-related functionalities to fetch the data, to handle forms, and so on. And then we have an API folder to, for the fetching the data from Firebase and, and Firestore. Okay, and we already created lots of lots of components and we have been coding a lot in the course. Okay, so that's the short uh, preview of what is already done. This code is already available, I will show you. Uh, dot Oops, I just made a mistake. Okay, so uh, here it is. The course is uh, here. I will be adding more lectures today. 
and currently 146 lectures. Uh, today I will be adding uh, seven more. And there will be, I think, around 30 or 40, even 40 more lectures, maybe even more. I uh, don't know how much time it will take to, to finish all of this, but the course should be finished in the beginning of, uh, of January. Okay, you can watch the preview here. It's already so many lectures and uh, are added in the course. Okay, so that's gonna be it from the preview. I will keep you updated and I hope to see you around. Cheers. <laughs>